For this human structure, we're going to start off with the back and the head. They're not really going to be very intricate, you could say. They're just going to be simple, five bones. So we just create five bones by pressing our plus button. So this is going to be the main body and head. This is pretty much the back and the head of the character. Um, I'm going to add in some arms. So we need four bones for the arms. So we have shoulder, uh, the upper arm, lower arm, and the hand. I'm not doing. I'm not going to add hands. I'm just going to keep one bone for hand. It it's fine for this model. Now, <laughs> it's just a big line at the moment of bones, but on our bone six, let's just bring it down a base by saying it's on base four. Uh, make the rotation in Y ninety. So ninety rotation, and then for bone seven, we'll make that one eighty. So it looks <laughs> slightly humanized now with one arm. So I like to create the bone length of six of number six to be six. Um, the next bone is a length of eight. I'd like the next one to be six, and then three. So that creates a nice little arm here. Um, it, you can do whatever rotations and lengths you want. Obviously, we're trying to make a human ish looking structure at the moment so I'm going to keep it like this you can make them twice the size if you like any size you want really, you can make it half the size um, just remember the length is limited to one so one's the smallest you can go to so next four uh, we'll just do on the uh, other side of them I mean if you add in too many it doesn't matter you can always remove bones and oops at the base 4 and we rotate when we do 90 press minus before you enter because otherwise it won't be minus it will be facing the way the bone you just did I just press minus 180 and that didn't work sometimes it's a bit dodgy the way that it works but you just got to keep with it you know Press six, six. Um, and this, this one's six. This one's three. Having number eleven to be eight, just make this higher arm. It's a little bit bigger. So you can see it's kind of looks like the top of the torso. I mean, you can obviously change some of these rotations just to make it seem a bit more maybe animated when it's just still. But for the moment, it's fine. Uh, legs you need two legs. Uh, basically the same as the hands and the arms. So I just add in four more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Just add in the length. Zero. I mean the base is zero, not the length. Um, make the rotation ninety. Oops. Sometimes you end up pressing nine by accident. It's kind of annoying, but you get used to it. And then we go for 180, and then just type in your length you want. So this is going to be slightly bigger than the uh, arms, because legs, I feel, are generally bigger. The feet have an X rotation, so they just have a bit more detail there. The, the legs are coming out, the feet are coming out here, not the legs. <laughs> the feet are coming out just gives you a bit more depth and then obviously you want to do that on the other side so it's 21 bones uh, in total on this model so we just add in these last ones the last leg of the model so minus, one eight, uh, minus 90 minus 180 whoops that's minus 1 minus 180 oh. There we go, and make this one 90, the rotation there, add in the length, so 8, 10, and again 6, just 
that's my model and that's the structure complete um, now you just want to save it by going file and export structure and you can save it where you like